Hello everyone. Welcome to Her Courage to Plan. My name is Megan. Today's video, I've got to go ahead and close out our saving funds for the month of October with you guys. Now, if you missed the saving funds tracker update from September, I will leave that linked up above and you can go back and check it out. Now, prior to us paying off our HELOC, which we paid it off in October, I was giving you guys debt and saving funds tracker update videos. So I won't be doing the debt tracker update, but what I will do is our emergency fund goal tracker update with you guys. So you will get the saving funds close out and the emergency goal update in this video. So today I am using one of my printables from my 12 month paycheck to paycheck budget journal for the month of October. Now, if you wanna get your hands on this 12 month journal, I do have the link to my Etsy shop down below in the description box. It is a 12 month streamlined journal, guys. It is neutral. And if you're not you know, into the 12 month journal, I do have a neutral planner set in my Etsy shop as well if you're looking at you know, trying out printables. Um, what I did, I took the US letter size, eight and a half by 11, and I scaled it down as far as the size from 100% to 75%. And then I took one of my note pages from my Plum Paper Planner and just put it up against it and cut it out and happy punched it. So of course with printables, you are easily able to customize the actual printable down to fit your planner. So let's go ahead and get right into updating our saving funds tracker first. All right, guys, so right now we have four saving funds category. I know some of you all call them sinking funds, but they're saving funds. So this is what I am using to go ahead and get these closed out for the month of October. So our first fund we have is our household emergency fund. And for the month of October, our starting balance was $2,000. $723.71. So you know our starting balance is our September ending balance. So we didn't have any withdrawals from that account and we did deposit $50. And every month we do have $50, which is automatically transferred from our joint household checking account into our joint household savings account. And this is what we are calling our household emergency fund. And in the past, we were putting um, extra money into it, but we got so focused on, you know, making sure that we can pay off our HELOC to where we kind of scaled down a little bit as far as putting that extra into our household emergency fund. So right now, our ending balance in this fund is $2,000. $773.71. And the next fund we have is our son's tuition. We are cash flowing his college education. So we started out with $150 in this account for October. We didn't have any withdrawals. Now we did do the withdrawal a couple of months ago when fall started. So that's why this balance is low. But each semester we do go ahead and try to you know withdraw out whatever funds that are in this particular saving funds. And then we put some of our personal monies with it so that we can take care of his college tuition for that semester. So we actually did a deposit of the $150. So the total amount that is the ending balance in this account is $300. And then our next fund is our vacation. Now, you all know that we took our vacation fund and paid off our HELOC. And so what Hubs and I agreed to do is to replenish our vacation fund as quickly as possible because we do still plan on going on vacation. So our starting balance was the $1347.52. And we did withdraw every penny out of this account. So we withdrew. 1347.52 in October. But we also did put in $350 back into this account. So that brings the ending balance to $350. Okay. And then our last category is our pets. So our starting balance 
for the pets was $100. And we haven't withdrawn anything from the pet fund just yet. We plan on making sure that this gets beefed up a little bit more, then we'll start you know, drawing out of it. So we actually deposited $50 for October, and of course the ending balance in the pet fund is $150. So I've got to go ahead and total our starting balances so we started out with 272371 plus 150 plus 134752 plus 100. So we actually started out October with $4,321.23. We did withdraw 134752 in October, but our total deposits were 50 plus 150, plus 350, and another 50. So we did a total deposit into all funds of $600 for October. And now our ending balance is 277371 plus 300, plus 350, and then plus 150. So we have ended October with $3,573.71 across all of these funds. So that is it for our saving funds tracker update. So what I'm going to do is update our household emergency fund trackers with you guys. All right, guys, so now I am back at my DIY planner where I still have the emergency savings and the savings challenges still housed in this planner. And this here, Die Cut God's Girl, this is from Vin Von Alley by Michelle. I'll leave her information down below in the, the description box because I do get a lot of questions about my um, die cut and I get my stickers from her. And I actually did a video, Black Friday haul, and this was actually in that oops bag that I actually purchased. So I will leave that video up above if you just want to check out what I end up getting. And again, just check her shop out if you're interested. She has a host of uh, new faith-based items in her shop and they are gorgeous, guys. So for the emergency savings goal, now if you missed this video where I actually filled out this tracker to see how much we needed for our three to 12 month savings goal, then I'll leave that video linked up above and you can go and check it out. So let me go ahead and get right into where we need to update our first tracker. All right guys, so this is the first tracker I'm gonna update for our emergency savings uh, goal. Now, if you're liking any of the savings goal trackers that I'm updating, guys, I have a new debt tracker bundle and savings tracker bundle in my Etsy shop. They're printables and I also have fiscal stickers for your savings tracker. So if you wanna check it out, you can, but what you're seeing here, I do have in my Etsy shop, but they are updated. So they don't quite look the same. I've got the fonts that are a little bit different, but the trackers are all there if you're interested. So for October, I'm just putting October 31st for the ending. And then I'll just say that this is our October recap. And we didn't have any withdrawals from the emergency savings account, but we did put in that $50. So our balance, which you know our balance from earlier, it is the $27.73.71. All right, so this is it for this tracker here. I'm just keeping a running total for 2020. So now it's time to update our savings jars. All right, guys, so I am at the monthly savings small jars. And again, these here are updated in my Etsy shop. They're not exactly like this, but the new 2021s, they are available. So for October, we were able to save $50, and I just put that there. And now I get to shade in this here October. So I think what I'm going to use probably gonna use the blue. All right guys, so now all I gotta do is get to shading. All right, 
guys that was really nice i love this shading guys i just absolutely love it so we've got one more tracker to update and that is our large jar all right guys so i am at our large jar for our emergency saving funds and of course we are working on our one month goal so because our balance is the 277371 we didn't go up a whole lot so I'm just gonna shade one line guys and I'm not gonna speed the video along I'm just gonna make this here mark so it shows that the needle moved just a tad which is okay just want to make sure that I get the shade in something all right, so that is it for our savings tracker update, guys. So leave me a comment down below. Are you still working on savings or paying off debt? Or are you doing a little bit of both, guys? We are still gonna continue to try to save something in 2021. So that is not gonna stop, but I will definitely give you guys an update about what we're planning to do for 2021. And please make sure you stay tuned because I still have to give you guys an update on our savings challenge. All right, guys, you already know the deal. I'll see you later. Bye.